Sweet Stevie Aaron and Dina Ass calling the action here. This is Europe's must-see wrestling promotion, 1PW. Tonight we're invincible, Dane, and here we go. Tag team titles on the line. Jody and Johnny, the current 1PW World Tag Team Champions, taking on Classic Hulk Cabana, Darren Burridge, Team Shag. And those two idiots violated you in the ring. They certainly did. Not, not, can I, in the wrestling ring. Oh, right. I mean, oh, okay. sorry. Yeah. But I wouldn't stand for that. He's <laughs> far quicker than me tonight. I, 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 I just realised what I said. That was unintentional. <laughs> if uh, the BBFC or whoever senses us are watching, that was uh, no, unintentional. I don't, I, I don't think uh, that's a factor, <laughs> thankfully. <laughs> now, the great thing about this match, or the interesting thing about this match, I should say, Dean, is uh, Team Shag. Yes. Are actually, the number one contenders to the uh, 1PW tag team titles. That would be Southern Comfort. And of course, Southern Comfort in a tag team match of their own well, yeah. a little bit later on. They are otherwise engaged in a uh, six man tag along with the uh, world champ Steve Carino. That's right. And so the title shot goes to Team Shag. Team Shag. Well, you've got to think the winners of this match, it has been speculated will face Southern Comfort on October 14th at 1PW's first anniversary show. And we're going to begin things here with Johnny Storm and Colt Cabana. And despite being American, he's a great British wrestler, if you know what I mean, Dean. He's a big fan of the British style. He's wrestled extensively here on a few tours. And, um, yeah, he loves the British style. Had some great matches with uh, Johnny Kidd. He's had some great matches with Johnny Storm, actually. I remember uh, a couple of years ago, an amazing match um, between Classic Colt Cabana one-on-one -on -one with Johnny Storm, and now in the centre of the ring, both men meeting again. I don't think he was going to give up to the handshake. Somehow. What was that, the world's strongest handshake? It might have been. Classic Hulk Cabana. Oh, wait a second. Nice manoeuvre by Johnny Storm. And you see Colt Cabana, he's always tough to call. I just usually call him an idiot, and that covers most eventualities. Right. Classic Hulk Cabana, of course, wrestling all over the world. He's known, of course, in Ring of Honor. He's wrestled for the WWE. But he's well known here in 1PW. A nice escape there from Classic Colt Cabana. Johnny Storm as well, one of the premier British wrestlers. And you're seeing it right now. Where's he, where's he going? Where, Well, I, I don't know what to say about any of this, Dean. This is uh, <laughs> this is very strange. Well, it's uh, this is a title match. Yeah, it's not exactly uh, Lord Mount Evans rules, but oh wait, what? What's Colt doing? He's oh, he means business now. You see the body, a classic Colt Cabana, and what? Well, I guess and you see I've the seen too much of Johnny Storm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, at least Colt's decent, well, sort of decent. And uh, we've got a full moon in Doncaster, I guess. Colt. Colt is horrified. Colt's looking at the screen here in the Doncaster Dome. He's been stripped of his dignity, but I guess that happened a few years ago, to be quite <laughs> frank. <laughs> but the furry dice remain. Yeah, the furry dice remain. OK, here we and go. And now we have a change. It's Jody Fleisch and Darren Burridge. In Darren Burridge just w may well be the most popular wrestler in all of 1PW. The reactions he gets are really something else. Jody, nice escape. But again, the pucker one. I've said before about Burridge, he's a great wrestler, and I don't know why he has to do all this stupid... Because it's fun. Furry dice and, you know... Of course, Darren Burridge scored a victory over Doug Williams here in 1PW. Yeah. 
teamed up with Jimmy Snooker. And that, that was very bizarre. <laughs> it, it was, especially when Jimmy Snooker did the uh, chav shuffle with him. Right. That's, that's <laughs> going to go down as one of the most bizarre things I've ever seen in my life. Of course, that was back at Fight Club 2. Out now on DVD. Out now on DVD, yeah. Nice plug there. Thank you very much. I need to earn my class. <laughs> okay, what did uh, Jordy doesn't like this? We're Jordy's back. becoming offended. We're, we're back to being violated, aren't we? We're back, yeah, he's, he's stripping out of uh, Darren Burridge. He's taken off his Darren Burridge. <laughs> now, interestingly enough, I would say the champions are the quicker team. <laughs> Meanwhile, Team Shagger. Well, Team Shagger, Team Shaggers, this proves it right now. And now we've got. Oh, wait, we've got a standoff. What? What is going on? Um, I've got no idea. I'll, I'll be straight up with you. I really don't know. Oh, he's got the furry dice. Ah, uh, the furry dice have gone in. Ah, Darren Burridge has got the furry dice. And Johnny, well... No, wait, no, Johnny, don't... Come on, jo Oh, Johnny's got furry dice! Johnny Storm with the furry dice. Uh, I think they're smaller than uh, Burridge's. Oh, look look at Jordy's face. He he didn't know anything about this, Dean, which is not a good sign. I don't think he, he didn't know anything about... Oh, wait, no, no, Jordy, we... No, Jordy, we, you don't... Oh, he's got the biggest furry dice of them all! He's got the biggest dice in one PW. The, the rumours are true. I was going to say that confirms <laughs> the rumour, eh? I can't believe the chance this is getting. MC Hammer lives. And Jordy is really showing off the contents now, of his tights. I want to but remind the fans at uh, home this is a 1PW World Tag Team title match. Yeah, we're going to have to say that a few times, I think. Although the champions... Apparently this is wrestling. ...are in disarray. This is wrestling. I, I tell you what. Hell, you know, all these years I thought I was going to tractor pulling. Steve. Yeah, I'm glad I'm, someone told me. Somebody's been lying to me. Okay, off the ropes. Jordy oh. over the top, and he takes out the challenges. Somehow that we go straight back to the wrestling, <laughs> and that's caught Team Shag on the nose. Definitely. That was a hell of a move there. You got to admit. With get, Johnny and Jordy with a dice. I Nobody get expected feeling, that. I get a feeling Johnny's team something. He's up. over the top already. Oh, screw plancher. So, this, this is just a strange match, Stevie. Well, you know, credit to the champions. They did the homework. They had the dice made. To, and, and that it, wins a match how? Well, you, you caught them off guard. You've seen it right there, Dean. I suppose so. Oh, look at that. Michinoku driver and Jody's up top, moonsault. Where's he going, though? Johnny's up there as well, using him as leverage and a big moonsault from Jody Fleisch into the cover to just a two count. So is Fleisch the legal man? I'm confused. I don't know, but you just seen that. Oh, wait a minute. Jody just knocked Colt off the apron and knocked his dice off. And I think Colt's upset. Hurricanrana out of nowhere. By Jody, we've seen that so many times. Always impresses. Jody's still wrestling with those bloody great dice <laughs> hanging out of his trunks. Yeah, and he, he knocked Colt's dice off. I think Colt shed a tear as we've seen the flying. Yeah. Yeah, the flying butt, but. <laughs> Double chop from the challengers, Team Shag. Reminds me, what does Team Shag stand for again? The Street Hooligan Adventure Gang. There you go. Double close line from the challengers. You might be looking well, at, at least, new tag team champions. At least that's the public version. I guess there's a uh, few others going to do yeah. the rounds, but like with Michael P.S. Hayes and all the things P.S. stood for. Right. Here we go, both men. Now, referee Tony Barrett really We've got a double cover here. He, he needs to get some control because at the moment we've got what amounts to a tornado match. Well, I'm not sure who the legal man is. Exactly. And I don't think Colt or Darren Burridge particularly care, but. 
off the ropes. Johnny tagged in. So we know Johnny's the legal man. And a nice double drop kick there. I think it's Burridge. And well, it is Burridge now because Cabana's rolled out the ring. Right. <laughs> well, I wouldn't have put any money on it, let's put it like that. Into the corner, J Johnny Storm. The Wonder Kid. And here, here we go, go, the Fantastic Four. Yeah, nobody does this quite like Johnny Storm. In fact, I can't think of anyone that does it. Uh, no. You're right there. Darren Burridge. Oh! <laughs> on the top turnbuckle. There's Johnny Storm. Just as aerodynamic as his partner, but that time you see Burridge fighting back. And now Storm back up there! Perfect Storm, and goes for the cover. Two! Just a two count. Just a two count by Johnny Storm. And you're right, he hit the perfect storm beautifully. Johnny Storm perhaps was going for that Wonder Whirl. Nice reversal from Burridge and a DDT. What a DDT. Spiked him on top of his head. He almost went all the way over. Oh, Just a two count. Fly still in trouble on the ring apron there. I thought he would have dived into to make the save, but he, well, well, he's back on his feet and back in the ring now. I'm not sure there was a tag there. I, I, Burridge tagged in Colt Cabana. See the elbows to the head. And a big one for good measure. Cody Fleisch. Oh, wait a minute, the referee. The referee was in that corner, Dean. Referee's down. Yep, Tony Barrett in a bit of trouble. Jody's gone, using the ropes as leverage. Nice reversal from classic Colt Cabana. Up top right now, DDT! 720, well, nearly a 720 DDT, I guess. And Jody, he doesn't know what to do. The ref's out, this isn't going to count, but for all intents and purposes, well, I don't know if he was down there for the three count. We don't know if Colt would have kicked out or not, but... Well, Jody realised that the, the referee was, was out of commission. He just called for the shooting and star, Dean. He's going to go for the shooting star press, but he landed on his feet. He landed on his feet, but Colt catches him off guard anyway. And hits the Colt 45. That's the end. The match is over. Colt Cabana... Now, look at this submission hole. He's got the legs. He's like a, an inverted kind of Boston crab. Now, let's see if jo Judy's tapping. Judy's tapped out, but there's no referee. The referee, I don't know if he saw that, but anyway, the referee's down. We've got classic Colt Cabana with his submission. Oh, the Wonder Whirl! Johnny Storm just hit the Wonder Whirl on Darren Burridge. We've got a referee, Andy Quilden. But Judy just tapped out. Were they the legal men? Were Storm and Burridge the legal men? I'm not sure if we, they we were. We need a decision here. Bullshit, bullshit. Andy Quilden just said... And Cabana thinks he's won. Storm thinks he's won. Burridge can't stand. Fleisch is on his, on his back. It's the tale of two refs.